The 85 series is GE's best dryer, but is it worth buying? In this video, you'll learn all the best features of the 85 series, as well as a few problems. Then we'll compare it to other dryers from LG and Whirlpool. In the end, you will know whether the GE is right for you. Now, most of the time, you're buying the dryer to match a washer. So we'll talk a little bit about the washer at the end of the video. If you like the video, hit the subscribe and be notified first of future videos. We'll be publishing individual product reliability posts like dishwashers, washers, and stoves in the upcoming weeks. Let's get started. Dryers have become as fully featured as any appliance in your kitchen or laundry. The 85 series is no exception. Now, just so you know, the dryer is very similar to the 65 series model, which has a porcelain drum versus the stainless drum for this model. The Wi-Fi features are a little bit different as well. But before we talk about features, G is the easiest to vent. In fact, you can vent G 90 feet versus 30 for most every other brand. It is also four-way venting out of the box versus buying a side kit for all the other brands. For features, you have steam in the dryer. Steam is a bit different for drying than washing. In the washer, it powers out stains. In the dryer, you use it to de-wrinkle and refresh clothes. Have a favorite shirt or outfit, for example, that's wrinkled, you can refresh it in the dryer. You can even use the moisture setting to reduce static in your clothing. This model also has a quick dry for small loads and a high heat sanitized to eliminate bacteria. Like many better dryers, there's a wrinkle care or an air dry that continues after the cycle so your clothes won't wrinkle. Then you have more advanced settings like damp alert. It senses moisture and alerts you so your delicates won't shrink. You also have a vent sensor detecting blockages in your vents. The dryer is Wi-Fi and can be controlled from an app on your phone. You can also receive texts when the cycle is completed. If you buy the GE washer, it will also set the appropriate cycle on the dryer, which is the other difference from the 65 series. Lastly, this dryer is huge at 7.8 cubic feet, way bigger than the washer at five. Speaking of the washer, GE has an array of cycles, a 32 load automatic dispenser, and the industry's only mold control featuring microband antimicrobial surfacing and a fan inside the dryer to reduce moisture. In terms of competitive dryers, most of the best brands have similar features as steam, Wi-Fi, sanitize, and similar specialty cycles. GE is a bit larger at 7.8 versus 7.5 for most of the industries, but that really doesn't matter because they're all much bigger than the washers. It's about the same price to $100 cheaper as well than the other brands. So should you buy the GE dryer? Yes, but the other dryers are comparable. Should you buy this dryer and the matching washer? If you're looking for a set, then yes, because the washer is so unique and the dryer is certainly competitive. It's probably one of the best sets for the money in the industry right now. Click the link in the description below to download our free dryer buying guide and to learn more about popular laundry units with in-depth comparisons of all the most popular brands, answers to frequently asked questions, and buying strategies to save you money. Thanks for watching.